Hi folks, welcome back to the Pacific Coast Highway. I love riding on highways. The, uh, I want to give a little update for this week. First of all, uh, when I announced the, the plans for the 100k a day challenge by Factor, I'd say the comments and response was somewhat underwhelmed. Uh, now, I don't want to sit here and say, here's why you should be impressed with me. Uh, but I do want to give a little context, which is 100k a day is a lot. So, to start with, I think it's like an old myth that pros ride 500 miles a week, something like that. At least, I remember hearing that when I was like 22, which, when I was 22, might have been some EPO talking, whatever pros said that, or we could be talking like training camps where there's 30 guys swapping poles, working together. I've certainly done 500 mile weeks in the day for sure when I lived in Florida, but uh, it was very far from like the norm for me or any pro and, and not a thing that's like, 100K is a lot is my point. It's a lot. So let's do a little math where 100K, 60 miles, at like a good zone two, we're doing, you know, low 20s, throwing some hills. The flattest loop I could find here is the one I'm on now, which is you loop around PCH and then up into the valley and back. And then my head, that was like, ah, this feels pretty flat. Then I did it, and it's 4,200 feet of climbing, which is a lot. So now we're at 100K ride, it takes three and a half, four hours, no problem. Multiply that by seven, 20 hour a week is a large week. Uh, certainly done it, but four times in a row, that again is a lot. But don't take it from me. Day two, the 100K a day challenge. I got a little draft, which doesn't help much on six, seven percent. Don't look at me, Mateo, I'm vlogging. I'm vlogging. I remember Mateo from embarrassing me in my Boise video. Um, life, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he's out here training in sunny Malibu. Bonks, and he's talking. You're not boxed. No. I've been sitting on for 20 minutes. The, uh, I can't talk. He said, you can't talk, but you won't shut up. <laughs> We're doing uh, more climbing than I should, but it's rare to have this quality company around. So I'll take advantage. Sean Quinn is with us. Uh, Sean's back there. He's not, I'm gonna be clear, Sean has not dropped. He's he dropped. chose to no, sit up. Mateo says he's dropped. He could drop us if he wants to. He could drop me. Um, but true professionals do what their coach says. And uh, unprofessionals like me are like, ooh, pro guy going hard. I'm in. That's what we're doing. But gonna get the 100K, no problem today. And I'm gonna regret the way I did that tomorrow. But so far it's fun. How long are you in town? Stop. Don't stop going tempo. Okay. Hang on, tell everybody how hard 100k a day is. What? Sorry. 100k a day, it's no joke, right? I'm not Well, no, but, like, it's not, 100k doesn't sound like much. Some of the comments yesterday are like, that's easy for a pro. Uh, no. That's all that I do, for sure. Okay, thank you. That's all I need, a little validation. In addition to riding with Sean and Mateo, uh, mostly I did solo stuff. I rode with Michael Muni a couple times. Um, I did the group ride which was a little more intensive than necessary. I was able to, the way the group ride works, it just starts with a climb. So I kind of usually get away there and then people chase me all the way to the finish. Uh, sometimes they catch me, sometimes they don't. I was able to stay away yesterday, but I, it did hurt more than usual. Um, so I'm, I'm holding up fine. I'm ahead of, of the schedule on kilometers, but I do have the, uh, the jury duty blooming over my head, which is going to pull a few days out of it. And I'm certainly not like brand new, fresh, uh, like I, ha it's a big week and I feel it. That's all. Uh, I did fall asleep on the sofa at 8.15 the other night. Uh, the camera, when I finished that video, lost a bunch of my files. So I'm going to finish it from, uh, I'm, I'm taking a day off. This is a rest day from bicycle riding, uh, cause I have a photo shoot with Gooder. I'm here at Griffith Park 
at the, at the golf course. Gooder is my, my sunglass sponsor, those lovely folks. And by the way, the, the other thing with the 100K challenge, um, it's not just me, again, it's you guys can join. There's a Strava link in the description to the Factor Club. And, and the big thing, the idea for this was, was the two head honchos at Factor, uh, which is Rob and John, who, uh, who are doing it themselves. And they have a major bike brand to run. Um, so if you don't respect my effort with you know a couple more hills than necessary, then no, these two are swapping off over in Taiwan, working together, trying to get their kilometers in. Um, I, I'd say far more of a challenge without trying to sound like a, like a jerk myself. Um, I, I do have some very exciting news, which is that I'm gonna get some help from a couple pro friends to, to, to move forward the next few days uh, on my 100K a day challenge. Uh, good buddies Alex Howes and Kiel Reinen are flying in today. And, uh, and I think we're just gonna, we're gonna stay at my house and do some really nice riding around Malibu and, and I get to show them my favorite hills. Um, I'm really looking forward to, to catching up with, with my pro buddies and, uh, and getting some miles in. So that's gonna be great. Um, and that, and they'll be in the next video. The next video will be a little, little fun training camp with, uh, with Alex and Kiel. You know, they get to get out of the, the winter and hang out in LA and, uh, and I get a, a draft for a few of those kilometers. Other, other little little housekeeping, the uh, uh, Chapeau, my, my title sponsor this year, uh, will not be my title sponsor next year. The new title sponsor to be announced soon. Uh, they are returning. I'm glad to say that Chapeau is returning. Uh, really good folks, they, they hit me up. So this is the power analysis software. Um, they first hit me up a couple years ago, basically saying, hey, uh, if we made a big donation to Oak and Hungry, would you come ride with us in Houston? And I said, yes, and we've been friends ever since. Um, and now, they're, the way their software works, they came out with the software a little bit later. They were a GIS company first. If you remember, they're still the ones validating all the Everesting records. Um, if you're wondering, I do have like, not quite TV makeup on for this photo shoot, but like model, there's like a lip gloss. And I normally have an oily T-zone, as you've probably noticed many times, um, but they, they took care of that at the, at the makeup stand. Um, anyway, uh, so chapeau, they have, uh, their, their software is cool because most of the software, wherever you upload your power files, it's probably a cloud-based thing. And what happens is they only take a little bit of the data because they're worried about the upload speed and they're the ones storing your files. Uh, Chapeau, you store it on your computer. So instead of like a monthly fee, you just pay a one-time fee. There's a free trial. Uh, and then once you buy it, you still sent me, uh, but a free two-week trial if you wanna check it out. And, um, and then it ends up being more accurate because they actually use the whole file and if you're in the marginal gains land, it could be like an interval that I have that, that one app says is uh, 410 watts or whatever for, for 10 minutes. Turns out in Chapeau, it'll be 415, which, you know, that does matter in, in what I do in the nitty gritty marginal gains land. So uh, big thanks to them. Um, more fun videos to come with, uh, with Alex and Keel. Um, but a bunch of good folks, great cause. Uh, appreciate your donations. And, uh, and again, you can join the challenge yourself and, uh, and Factor will donate money for, for your kilometers as well. So check all the links below and, uh, and we'll see you soon.